Hi, Sarah. I'm Laurie. I'm going to instruct you on the use of the cryo cuff to uh, give you ice therapy at your post-op care. I'm going to review everything, but I will send you home with an instruction sheet that you can reference if you need to go over anything at home. Okay. This is the cryo cuff cooler. You're going to fill it first with ice to about the, the first level um, or four inches below the top. Then you take water and fill the cooler with water. You can take this silver insulating disc and put it on and then screw the top on firmly. The next thing you're gonna do is connect. We have two different systems we use for the cryo cuff. One is a foot, and I mean one is an ankle and one is a foot, whatever one, they both are the same scenario. We'll do the foot one first. You always want to put a protective device. I mean, a, pr a protective um, between the skin and the and the skin and the pad. So usually, if you have shorts or uh, exposure like this, just put a face cloth around. Then the bottom, the foot connector is a hard surface. You're going to bring the foot into the ankle wrap, lift it in, and push it up against that firm base and then wrap with the Velcro straps around the whole foot. You're gonna next take the cooler. There's a silver disc here and a connector here. You're just gonna do a quick click in. You're gonna make sure it's not bent so everything flows well. Open up the ear vent and it's a gravity system that allows ice water to flow in and you'll just lift it and pockets will fill with this icy cold water. It usually takes about a minute to fill all the pads and you'll see it expand. You're going to also want to keep this leg elevated above the level of the heart, especially when you're using the system that helps eliminate swelling and the icy cu um, cuff helps eliminate some of the pain and swelling also. Okay, once done, you want to exchange this about every 30 minutes while you're awake, especially the first 48 hours. But you know, when you're asleep, if you wake up, you can exchange it. You can either leave it connected or you can disconnect. And to disconnect, I would advise using a face cloth or some paper towel because it drips out icy cold water. Depress this little silver disc and then shake out the icy cold water and put the cooler to the side. So after about 30 minutes or an hour, you can now come and you're going to exchange. You want to just make sure there's a good amount of ice in there. If there isn't, just drain out some of the water and fill with ice. Reconnect. Lift the air vent and lower this below the level of the foot. And the warmed water now goes back into the icy cold cooler. So it's just an exchange of water. And usually I do a little bit of help so it will drain a little bit more effectively. Give it a couple minutes to ice back up and once doing that you can then again as I instructed before keep the vent up, lift up and refill. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. I'm going to just show you um, how to connect the foot um, part of the ice cuff in case you were sent home with that. Lift that right off. Again, you're going to make sure that all skin that is exposed is either covered with a towel or a pair of socks. This connector goes up towards your face. Nope, other way, sorry. Below it. Lift the foot right up and wrap around the foot. And then this strap goes around the ankle and connects. And again, just connect and feed the cold iced water. Um, just make sure you know that it really is icy cold water because that's what gives the greatest effect. Check your skin for skin integrity, but it isn't a nice system. It's an iced water system, so you really have problems, but you do want periodic breaks and to check the skin. Okay. Any questions? Nope. Okay.